Lucas Media. So Oscar De La Hoya has some interesting things to say about what he's going to do with Golden Boy Promotions. Um, he had a bunch of different people from the media come to his new mansion in Las Vegas. And while he was there, him and Bernard Hopkins was being interviewed. And Oscar talked about plans on kind of like rebuilding, regrowing Vegas. Now, he also confirmed that they're looking to build a 2,500 to 3,000 seat apex to host Golden Boys more intimate shows so like more developmental shows and it's construction is in progress and it's estimated it will take at least a few months away from making the golden making the location golden boys official headquarters now oscar he's had it he's done a 23 uh headliners in vegas you know, and most of the majority of them were pay-per-views. Now, B-Hop said that he ain't going to be out there. He ain't going to move out there, but he going to be out there because y'all know he owns a portion of Golden Boy Promotions. This is my opinion, right? I think this is great for the sport. I'm all for people like B-Hop, Oscar De La Hoya, Floyd. If you're going to put be serious and try to do stuff, that's cool. Yeah, Saudi Arabia over there they are taking over because they're offering more money but the problem in america is is too much selfishness you know but if you got people like a floyd if he signs a bunch of more fighters because i feel like Devin haney should be under mayweather promotions and shakur but you gotta you gotta learn how to attract these fighters give them what they what they're requesting have them in vegas you know even Devin haney he out there in vegas i'm sure but Devin Haney promotions and stuff, he going to start investing. When fighters are investing, promoters, whoever, right? It helps grow the sport. So I'm for it. Yeah, I give Oscar a hard time. I still feel like what they did with Ryan Garcia is wrong. Him and B-Hop not being there for him in his time. After he got dropped in the seventh round. But if you're going to invest in building an arena and you're going to put on fights... Cool, I'm all for it. I remember when he had his own channel on TV. And when Box was on TV, I was on there watching him. But yeah, he says that he wanna he wanna bring Vegas back, help it grow. They did ask him about Saudi Arabia. He think those are more one offs. But I mean, yeah, I, I do I miss the old times where all the fights were in Vegas. But we also seen the fights we wanted to see. You know, we got to see Holyfield Riddick Bow. Uh, Oscar and Floyd, <sighs> Leonard Hagler. You know what I'm saying? We got to see these the, these type of fights. Um, the Leonard Hearns is. So as long as people keep dead, you know, if you're gonna pick out your pocket and invest in the sport, I'm only gonna get get praise to it. You know what I mean? Now he do some goofy stuff. I'm I'm going I'm gonna be hard on Oscar, but. I ain't going to knock none of these fighters or promoters or whatever to help invest in the sport. And if you want to grow the sport, I'm all for that. So I started this channel. If I, if I can help on my end as well, that's just what I'm doing. But yeah, I just want to give quick thoughts on it. Tell me what y'all think. I know UFC got their headquarters out there. So, you know, look like Vegas might continue to be the fight hub. But tell me what y'all think about it.